what are the structural designing key considerations for designing the flat slab flat slab is basically you know the slabs without beams that's why it is known as the flat slab only sometimes the perimeter is beams will be there and it is just the flat plate which is rested on certain columns and the shear walls so in that particular case how do i design the the flat slab flat slab is it is considering not only the function as a slab but also beam so along with the deflection criteria you will have the bending moment along one particular direction and the other direction and the twisted bending moment along with that you will have the shear considerations also that's why at certain places where the shear forces is going to be very critical particularly at the junctions of the columns you need to design the those particular uh, areas as a part of the thick shell element which is a finite element and in that particular consideration you need to consider the uh, s13 and s23 which is the shear criteria which is basically the one way and two way shear criteria in such kind of areas you need to make sure that the crack width is also not governing bending is also not governing as well as the deflection now deflection so many people they calculate the short term deflection or a crack deflection but you need to consider the creep deflection also which is a long term many a times the structural engineer that misses out the long term deflection criteria given in is 456 i would suggest that to use the cbfip code which is the european code for dealing with the long term deflection criteria because in indian code we are you will be having hardly some four five lines to describe it but in the ubc 97 or in the cbfip code you will have almost more than 100 to 200 pages which gives you a elaborative idea about the long term deflection these are the few areas are you considering as a structural engineer in your analysis day to day i hope so thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye